Today I'm going to compare direct box guitar recording to recording guitar directly into a mixer and directly into an audio interface. The DI box that I'm using for this video is the Behringer DI400P. Welcome to Simple Green Tech. I'm Radio Zane and on this channel I do audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews to help you unleash your creativity. Now today I'm comparing DI box recording or direct box recording to recording your guitar directly into your audio interface or directly into a mixer. Now the DI box or direct box that I'm using for this video is the very affordable Behringer Ultra DI 400P. So keep that in mind as a more expensive DI box may get you different results. I've linked to the Behringer DI 400P in the description below in case you want to check out all of the specs on it. And you can also see just how affordable this thing really is. This is a passive DI box, meaning it doesn't require any power, no battery or anything. You just plug your guitar in, connect it to your audio interface or your mixer and away you go. There are also active DI boxes out there. And those require power and there are other differences. I'm not going to get into all of the differences, but one of the main differences other than the power is that the passive DI boxes may add a little bit of coloration to the sound. So that's something that we'll listen for here. So I've done three recordings here, one with the DI box connected direct into the audio interface, another one with the guitar connected direct to the audio interface, and then another one with the guitar connected directly to the mixer. First up, we'll listen to the guitar connected straight into the audio interface. So the signal chain here is my guitar connected straight into my Focusrite 2i2. Next up, we'll listen to the DI box recording and the signal chain here is the same guitar plugged into the DI box and then the XLR output of this DI box is going into the XLR input on my Focusrite 2i2. And finally, we'll listen to the guitar connected straight into the mixer. So the signal chain here is the guitar going straight into the Behringer mixer, and then the main output of the Behringer mixer is connected to the inputs on my Focusrite 2i2. So that's what it sounds like clean. Now let's listen to it with a guitar amp sim on each of them and we'll see if there's a difference there. But first, let me know if you heard a difference with the clean recordings. So now we're going to listen to the exact same recordings, but this time I've added Amplitube Custom Shop as an effect in the DAW and the settings are the exact same for each of the recordings. So I'm going to let you decide for yourself if you think a DI box is worth it for your recording. Keep in mind, this is a very affordable DI box. Maybe a more expensive one will make a bigger difference. Click up here to see my guitar recording playlist or click down here to see what YouTube recommends. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. For Simple Green Tech, thank you so much for watching. I'm Radio Zane and we'll talk soon.